I wanted to come out and say I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart, Sixers fans. I am so, so, so incredibly sorry. I'd imagine the only people tuning into this video are going to be Sixers fans, although who knows, maybe the algorithm will reach Boston Celtics fans who robbed the Sixers yet again uh, at the trade deadline. Um, I'm not going to sit here and lose my mind about the team trading Jaden Springer. I'm not going to sit here and lose my mind about the team trading Patrick Beverly. They did acquire Buddy Heald today, who has been one of my favorite players for very for a very long time. Uh, yet again, it feels like the Sixers did acquire a player three years too late, although I think he's going to play good basketball here. He's a much-needed type of player on the Sixers team, and that about ends all the good things and positive vibes that I could possibly issue you fans today because uh, the guy you see on the screen right here, Daryl Morey, is a fraud. And I don't like to use the word hate, but I hate him. I hate Daryl Morey. Ever since he was hired, the moment he was hired, actually, I remember where I was at the time. I was working a shitty part-time job. Forget what when that was it might have been around the pandemic maybe a little before I, ca I can't remember I'm not even going to use the word uh I can't use a certain word because I think it'll flag this video or whatever but you guys know what I'm talking about uh I feel like it is that time period has done irreversible damage to all of us but I just remember where I was and I knew Daryl Morey was going to be an upgrade over what the Sixers had because well quite honestly they haven't had a good GM since I've been alive let's just be honest but right away, I was like, you know what? Something about this guy doesn't sit right with me. Sure, he, he came in and traded Al Horford and improved the team. But stop kidding yourselves. I understand the, the, the situation he came in was, was bad. You know, Ben Simmons quit on the team and all that stuff. But he held on to Ben for so long and got James Harden for him. All that time... He waited and waited and waited. He got a washed James Harden for him. His only friend, James Harden. His only friend, by the way, who threw him under the bus, and it seems like they have no relationship whatsoever. Daryl Morey loves, probably still does, love James Harden. We could have had Halliburton. We could have had all these great players. And I know there's going to be some Sixers fans that click off this video. God damn it, I'm here for you. I'm trying to walk you through this. We deserve better. And the only way this gets fixed is if you fans start speaking up. This is unacceptable. This guy is a fraud. Daryl Morey is a fraud. I understand Joel Embiid's hurt, and it wasn't realistic to expect this team to make a bunch of noise, a bunch of moves at the trade deadline. But damn it, your job as the GM is to do whatever you can to to maximize your ability to win the championship. And you just made two Eastern Conference teams better while you got weaker. I know Jaden Springer, he's a young, promising player, all right? He's probably not a starter. He may not ever be a starter in the NBA. But at the very least, you just saw this guy go out there and clamp up Steph Curry, and you trade him to the Boston Celtics damn well knowing that they know how to develop players. You just know he's going to turn into a, a good player on that team. You just know it's going to happen. For a second-round pick, you used a first-round pick to draft Jaden Springer, and when the clock strikes 3 p.m. at the trade deadline, you trade him to the Boston Celtics for a second-round pick. A year ago, roughly, maybe less than a year ago, Daryl Morey, or James Harden accused Daryl Morey of being a liar. He's not the only one. Patrick Beverly, who he just traded today, was damn near promised by Daryl Morey that he wouldn't get traded. If I could find the tweet, I'd pull it up. I'll do it right now. Shout out to Sixer Daily. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. Where's the quote? Where's the quote? Don't even get me started on Tobias. I'm sick, by the way, recovering from the flu or whatever. I don't even feel great, but I had to come back. The people needed me. Can't find it. Where's the quote? Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly says he asked Daryl Morey in Denver if he would 
not be traded. Maury told him, no, you, not you. Of course not. We should have known better, guys. We should have known better. <sighs> I mean, look, Embiid being hurt obviously will always ruin everything. But, like, the only way this team will ever seriously compete for a championship is if the GM acknowledges the fact that he has to do his job and put the absolute best team he can possibly put around Joel Embiid because you know Joel Embiid's going to be hurt. You know he's going to be dealing with injuries. You just know it. You can't just not do your job. He waved the white towel. Daryl Morey had to have been the kid in high school that got bullied. He probably got straight A's in math and got embarrassed in gym class. The owner of this team, Josh Harris, cares more about football and making money. He doesn't care. He probably doesn't even talk to Daryl Morey. I mean, at the end of the day, you need a good coach. You need probably two stars and a good roster around them to win the NBA championship. But that doesn't take away from the fact that if you could just got a lousy GM and a lousy owner, probably not going to win a title. I'm not feeling good, man. I know the chances were slim the minute the Embiid injury was announced and the, they decided to go with, you know, surgery. But I feel like he's probably going to come back and end up playing in the postseason, which is all that matters. We need Embiid in the postseason. I don't feel good about it. He's banking on this. Daryl Morey is banking on this offseason. We're going to have like $55 million in cap space. Who is out there? Paul George will be a free agent. I'd imagine he's going to go back to the Clippers. LeBron's a free agent. You think he'd come here? And don't even get me started on that. There's other guys. But honestly, I'm not buying. There's people out there reporting that the Sixers are an attractive situation because they they'll have all this cap space. You know, the Tobias contract will be up. They got Tyrese Maxey. They got Joel Embiid. I love both guys. But honestly, there's a more attractive situation in the Eastern Conference, and it's a competent franchise that's been slowly, slowly building. That's the New York Knicks. I think more people would rather play for the Knicks than the Sixers. Competent ownership. A tough, competitive team, the, the New York market, who has been dying, dying to get back into the big dance, to be relevant again. They have a DNA there. They're a tough team, man. Jalen Brunson, they pretty much got the Villanova Wildcats championship team on there. They, they, are, they are dogs on that team. They just made a great trade today. Got a player the Sixers should have got. You can call me whatever you want. Call me a fake fan. You can label me whatever you want, but you know what I'm saying is true, and I'm going to do and say the things that need to be said. They have to be said. I don't care what I get labeled. You can label me a quitter, a loser, but if you're going to do that, make sure you include Daryl Morey in that conversation. All I'm going to say is this. I have no motivation to watch this team. I, I, I just can't. I can't support... I can't support this product. And I love Tyrese Maxey. I made a video the second he was drafted that he was the steal of the draft. He is the only thing keeping me, like, my Sixers sanity alive. And even that doesn't do it for me. I just, I, 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 <laughs> I don't have it in me, man. I don't have it in me to watch or support this team because of how incompetent Daryl Morey is. I can't be the only one that feels this. They're probably going to buy out Kyle Lowry. I guess, uh, let me see if any other deals were made. Andre Drummond is like, well, I mean, Andre Drummond would have been the only other player I could have realistically seen them getting. And uh doesn't look like that happened. The deadline's up, man. The deadline is up. I see a report here. The Sixers are expected to pursue... Uh, I'll pull it up for you guys. The Sixers are expected to pursue Paul George should he be unable to sign an extension. Yeah. I mean, look, it's a quote, tweet, laugh out loud. Yeah. I just don't even have the energy. Maybe it's because I've been sick for the last week. There is there is some sort of sickness going around the Philadelphia area, PA area, whatever you want to say. This is all I got, man. 
that's all I got. I'm sorry, Sixers fans. Uh, just pray, prayers up for Embiid. That's all we have at this point is that he can 100% be healthy after this surgery and come back. That's all we got, man. But even then, it's like, can this team even stay afloat? Are they going to be in the play-in? Is this team going to be in the play-in? We shall see. Take care, everybody. Wish you all the best. Best of luck in your personal lives. Uh, wish you all the best health, physical, mental. I'm sorry this team just keeps ruining it for you. I'm going to sign off for the day. <laughs>